Today, Precarious plays The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. There we go. Yeah. See? That was much easier. See how easy video games are when you don't have to try to talk <laughs> and play the game? I'm sure it says something about neuroscience. Um, but speaking of neuroscience, cotton candy. Basically, if Pardon? you if you spin sugar, if you spin if you spin hot sugar fast enough, it turns into strands. And so instead of using not dissimilar to the paths between neurons. Okay, see, we got there. It's all connected. Mm -hmm. Sugar uh, does things to your brain. Anyways, so. The point is that once I... I have seen many, many hacks uh, on the subject of cotton candy. Mm -hmm. But my favorite one was, of course, done by Alton Brown uh, on a late night talk show where he was giving a demonstration. And during that demonstration, what he did was he took a whisk mm -hmm. and he cut all of the tines off. Mm -hmm. uh, or he cut the bulb part of it off, so it was just like tines sticking out, right? And yes. then he heated sugar syrup to the temperature it needed to be to pull into floss. Mm -hmm. And then he got the whisk and hooked it into a um, the chuck of a drill, mm -hmm. uh, put it up on high speed, and then put it down in a bucket. Mm -hmm. And, oh, turds. You really threaded the needle on that one. Why aren't you going down to explore those spaces? You know... <laughs> <laughs> no good reason. Because <laughs> I'm afraid of falling. That's, that's the... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I... Oh. Mm, a red, red whirlwind gotcha. Mm-hmm. Okay. And now you've got to Should I walk hand. up or down? Down. Okay. Thank you. Anyways, so does this not amuse you? Making cotton candy, unorthodox cotton candy in a five gallon bucket with a drill? It amuses the heck out of me. It was a food grade bucket. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's the part I, I was concerned about. Oh, oh, oh. Lakitu? Ah, uh, oh, he, what? Uh, this? Maybe. Why is there a magic Lakitu right now? Wow, that really is just a Lakitu, isn't it? Like your little face mask and everything. Oh wow. Okay. Hi. Uh, Although I think those are supposed to be glasses in Mario. This is not the one. Hmm. Is there a whirlwind <sighs> to the east? No, but I. I hope it is then. Hmm? Yeah. I need to go back to that other space I didn't explore because I was too busy telling you about silly cotton candy tricks. I I don't know. I, that one doesn't impress me as much as the off the wall uh, uh, fire extinguisher smoothie. Yes, you are. Go back into the world. I'm trying. It's a little harder than you might think. There we go. And now you can go to the south. The south from here. Yes. Okay, or you could just. I not. was just topping back up. It's it it's like it's. You'd be a real smacked butt cheek about things. I'm, I'm not trying to be a smacked butt cheek <laughs> about things. I just, it's difficult to handle. Oh. It oh. handles weird. Red and swollen. You remember when you made that ten foot tall pancake cake? What? No, no, I. <laughs> Alton Brown, you mean? Yeah. No, I've I've seen the one where he very excitedly like it's part of the the showmanship. Yeah, he's he was definitely putting on a magic show. But there's this great like, I, I uh, it seems like things are going off the rails, but by the end there's just ice everywhere, frozen. What was what was he making? He was making a carbonated grape smoothie with the dry ice from an old style of fire extinguisher. Yes. So he made like <laughs> he 
he froze the fruit with that fire extinguisher. So at, mm. at one point he had the fire extinguisher hose in a bowl full of grapes, just like shooting grapes everywhere. And then eventually he tossed the whole fruit mixture and some uh, juice or something into a blender. And then you get a funky, fizzy grape smoothie. Oh yeah. Yeah, and. I remember that there was a, a everything's fine moment where the host was a little like, this is getting kind of messy. And he's <laughs> like, he's sort of got his face turned away from what he's working with because frozen food stuff is flying everywhere. And yeah. he's like, no, this is perfectly normal. This is it. Everything's fine. <laughs> Dude knows how to put on a show. I got to say, I remember like he did a 10th anniversary like stadium tour mm-hmm. at one point. Yeah. And that fire extinguisher smoothie was also part of that. Mm-hmm. But also, he, they made a 10 foot tall 10 year anniversary pancake cake. So he had people cooking pancakes. Oh, shoot. I did this wrong. He had people cooking pancakes outside of the arena. Yeah. And then at the end of the show, like these are like probably foot wide pancakes. At the end of the show, they assembled them all vertically and then iced them with a hose. (laughs) (laughs) It was really good. (laughs) It was real, it was really fun. I, like, it was very silly. It was Monty Python-esque. That's a different one. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be here forever. I love it. (laughs) I don't know, it's uh, starting to wear on me a little bit. I have to say, I am a little confused of where I am spatially, but hey, here's a box. I'm losing it, too, to be honest. I gotta get in zone piece. Maybe this is one of the ones. Let's... Oh, the clouds here, though. go away when you... Or they, they return whenever you transition to a new zone, don't they? Mm, yes. And like a new, a new screen? Yes, these crunchy fluff cr- clouds. Cotton candy fluff clouds. Okay. So. No way, go that's up. too far away. Go to the right. That's not the right. I thought I saw a treasure box. How close can you get to the edge without falling off? That close. Got it. Okay, so mush your face right up to the right edge. There, I did see a box. See? There's mm-hmm. a box. I see it. We're going back down to see if I got the right piece for something. I wonder what it's going to do. Like, bring up more clouds, maybe? Mm-hmm. No, this is that one is a strong diagonal that's, that I think matches the first, the first one. one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. Should we go back? This looks... We've been up here? Not yet, no. <laughs> you should go up there. Maybe this connects to, like, a one-way that will let us go back to the start, uh, or not. Maybe I should start taking some notes. <laughs> no, it's okay, we just crossed the hook. Huh? You might be able to just block it. If no. you don't want to rang it. I want to ring it. The ring is my favorite. Oh, what? It doesn't work when they... Oh, I must have gotten very lucky that first time. <laughs> <laughs> like if it jumped into your boomerang? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. There we go. That's what happened the first time. <laughs> That's fun. Now I know I shall replicate it. And we are... Oh. I don't know. It might be easier just to try to block it. I, it might just no. jump over your shield. No, it's funner this way. I like <laughs> boomerangs. I always wanted to be proficient with a boomerang. That was like one of the silly... Like... I didn't think of it as a weapon, though. I thought of it as a toy when I was a kid. But, like, Mm -hmm. I wanted to be good at boomerang and bow and arrow. You dork. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, good (laughs) job. Ten points for identifying me correctly. (laughs) Total dork. Anyways, um... But I, I have a boomerang. You've seen it, right? Yes. But it's too pretty to throw. (laughs) <laughs> well, no, that's not true. I've thrown it a few times, but I didn't want to throw it anymore because then I thought it would get too messed up because I realized that I did not have the knack of it and perhaps it was a decorative boomerang <laughs> and not a real one. Although I saw 
the person who made them throwing them. But maybe it was just too small. I don't know, okay? The point is, I have never learned how to throw a boomerang. And I'm a little bit sad about it. Um, and the one I have to practice with, I am terrified of losing because now it's like a memorable sweet thing. You might the festival I went to. be able to ride this to the south, which I think is the direction we, we came from. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, this is good. This is good, too. Because I think that this is new. I think that that's... Yeah, this looks new. That's newness. <gasps> oh! Oops. Well, it's fine. Where are we? <laughs> I am really starting to, to lose track, which normally I I keep a pretty good mental map. No, you gotta you gotta slay that thing, because... Uh, uh, item Items and whirlwinds showed up whenever you defeated some of them before. Okay. Yeah, I am... I will, I will. But just, while I'm, while I'm up here, let me just get all of this. <laughs> all this delicious icing. This feels more like icing than uh, cotton candy. I don't like icing. I like cotton candy better than icing. I don't... I'm, I'm the opposite. I, I feel like, uh... Cotton candy... has... a peculiar mouthfeel. Mm hmm And it... I mean, it's just like pure sugar, so it's not great for you. I'd rather have, like, the heaviness of the icing because it's dense mm -hmm. to at least remind me that I'm eating something that's bad for me, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? So I don't overdo it. I I could sit down and if I could get over like the yum 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 of the cotton candy, yeah, I could eat like a lot of it. I could eat like two or three sticks of cotton candy. I like- But icing, I'm never gonna sit down and just eat a tub of icing. I'm never gonna sit down and eat like a whole cotton candy. I've never eaten a whole cotton candy myself because it's I, gross. I have eaten multiple cotton candies. I have not. Um, I, whenever I whenever I went to the circus. But what I really enjoy is Which getting- It doesn't really exist anymore, does it? It does, kind of. I don't know. All oh, right, we cleared the shark and nothing happened. Cool, sorry. It's fine. Bye. <laughs> I like putting cotton candy like a big wad in my mouth and then just letting it all melt. That sounds awful. It's delicious. I think I would actually rather just suck on a cotton ball. 